So, expectedly, Donny Okupe is the Director General of the Labour Party's Presidential Campaign Council, which has unveiled today in the absence of the candidate Peter B and his running mate Yusuf Baba Ahmed. The list has 1,230 uh, members who will be farmed out across Nigeria to mobilize the electorate. Other notable people in that rather large council are Oselo Kaobaze as general manager, AIG retired Mohamed Zalewa, who leads the team, and the chairman of the Labour Party, Julius Abure, who chairs the presidential advisory committee to the council. Amid the flurry of announcements, there were, among other things, expressions of concern about the allegations made by the Congress of Political Parties, the CUPP, that the ruling APC party had infiltrated and allegedly compromised INEC voter registration portals in 18 states. Well, for more on all that, I'm joined now in the studio by the chief spokesman of the Obi Dati presidential campaign organization, Yunusa Tanko. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. And congratulations, that's your new title, chief spokesman of the Peter of the Obi Dati presidential campaign uh, thank you very organization. Much. But a very long list indeed. Why so many? Well, um, you know, naturally, for a political party like ours that has conglomerate of a large number of different groups, you have the National Consultative Group, you have the TUC, you have the NLC, you have the Labour Party itself, and you have this humongous set of, uh, um, what, what do you call it, support group cut across the Federal Republic, Federal Republic of Nigeria. You expect nothing less of such. In fact, I should tell you, there are so many people who are waiting on the list asking that their names ought to have been included mm. or not. And I can assure you what you saw was a long list that comprises of all the six geographical zones of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and cutting across all the states of the Federation and making sure that the persons with disability, young boys and girls, were finally and beautifully engraved. It's far different from the conventional way you usually see in campaign councils. So, so what are they all going to be doing? Oh, of course, quite a lot of things. Like, for example, you've already identified, like, for example, you saw uh, a, a person of uh, Zeleha, uh, Zainab, and uh, Awa, and the rest of them. All of these young boys and girls, and Balami, and all of those, they are young people who have caught their teeth in the kind of political terrain. And so, therefore, they ought to be represented because actually the strength of the campaign is actually within this particular aspect of young groups. And so we must represent that so that to know that they are fully taken care of. Mm. And what they will do, of course, is clear. They will mobilize along the lines of their age group, which represent close to about, uh, uh, from the last INEC registration, which about 12 million uh, 80, 8 million of that population was the Nigerian youth, which represent the total rep, uh, interest of the youth who are obedient. And of course, when they are there, these are the same people who will carry this particular campaign down to the local government and the world. As we speak today, these young boys and girls are building sales groups across the 176 polling units around the nation. So that's the structure. Then, oh, of course it, it is. Right. Mm. And just explain why your presidential candidate, Peter Obi, and his running mate, uh, Yusuf Baba Ahmed, were both absent from such an auspicious event as oh, the unveiling of the presidential oh, campaign Oh, that's to show council. you how very uh, trustworthy they are in the hands of those they have already given the leadership of uh, of the campaign organization to. Like, for example, Chief uh, Dr. Duny Okupe, who I refer to as the Oracle. These are people who have been tested and trusted. And when they do things, they do it carrying everybody along. You saw the National Secretary of the Labour Party, the Organizing Secretary of the Labour Party, and you saw leadership of all support groups who are also on that particular system. Yeah, so, but we didn't see your presidential oh, candidate. But, but that does not mean that probably they had no endorsement of the presidential candidate. No, I'm not saying they did. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, that, that's, a, that's another issue, really. Um, but it's no, just that us, at such a big event, you'd expect to see. I mean, we saw the... PDP unveil its own council. I mean, you had Atiku Abubakar. You see, that is one different thing that we are doing. We are not doing a copy and paste campaign. No, nobody's saying copy and paste. Hey, We're because just saying that it's an because so, so, uh, If because A had done something, that doesn't mean that we should replicate the same right. thing he or she has done. As long as what we are doing can give us results, we don't need to do a copy and paste kind of campaign. And in fact, 
you can see our campaign has always one of those organic political campaign that you've ever seen in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So we can't associate ourselves with what they have done. Right. If we have been doing what they have been doing, we wouldn't probably have gotten the kind of okay. population that we have gotten. Well, what about the reports that suggest the list has not been approved by a significant percentage of the Labour That is to Party. show you the, label, the, the, the interest. I have just given you a fact that the Secretary, who is the uh, 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 the the uh, the person who owns the documentation of the party was at that particular mm. program. You saw him, he spoke. In fact, he was the one that... So it's just ugly rumors. Oh, so, of then. course, when you hear things like that, when you are right. having a political party moving towards clinching government, mm. you will hear all kinds of accession and counter position. But for us, we are soldiering on. Our target is Asuvila. Okay, you mm. must come back and talk to us again. Oh, definitely. I apologize I for the shortage of time. Uh, um, but um, I'm afraid we've run out, but please come back. We, we, we're going to see Donyo Kupe in a, in a few minutes, because okay. he's on Newsnight, Brilliant. which follows this program. Brilliant. So you guys are still um, getting your moments on Arise News. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much indeed. Mm. Yunus Tanko mm. is the chief spokesman, confirmed today as the chief spokesman of the Obit Dati Presidential Campaign Organization. Thank you very much. That's it for this edition of Arise Primetime. Join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.